Hello and welcome to the Media Composer Fast Start Series. I'm Marianne with Avid and I'm going to guide you through a project in Media Composer from start to finish. Now, the theme for this series is edit from anywhere. That just means we don't need a fancy edit suite with lots of equipment to get started. So I grab my laptop and a hard drive and my living room. So you can use a simple setup too. Sound good? Let's get started. During this first video, we'll go over how to access some practice media, set up a new project, bring in some footage, and preview it. Then we'll look at where we're headed with this series. Now, we designed this series so you can either apply what you learn to your own projects or practice what I show you by building your own version of the documentary short, Scramble King. And we'd like to thank our partner, Edit Stock, for supplying the Scramble King footage. Now, you can access this by downloading the Media Composer practice materials from Edit Stock's website. We included a link to the download page in the description of this video. And we included a video on avid.com that walks through how to use these materials. If you haven't worked with this practice media yet, notice it downloads as a zip file. For this fast start series, I moved the zip file to an external drive. Once unzipped, you'll see the unzipped folder contains a folder called SK Media and Assets, which contains several subfolders. During each video in this series, I'll be sure to show you what we'll use and how. For example, during this video, we'll use the Fast Start Final Edit folder and the SK Media folder. Making sense? Now, I encourage you to take advantage of the on-demand experience by pausing and reviewing the videos in this series as needed. On that note, let's start our project. Once we launch Media Composer, we can head over to the new Project tab in the Select Projects window, then name our project, and select a format for our project. For Scramble King, we'll select HD 1080 and 1080p 23976. If you're not sure which format to choose, you can select Choose For Me, and Media Composer will automatically set the format when you add your first clip to the timeline. For Scramble King, we can leave this deselected. Once you name your project and choose your format setting, you can click Create. Once our new project opens, we're ready to start setting up the project here in the bin container. For the Scramble King project, we can take advantage of the practice footage being organized into folders on our system. And we can use the source browser to ingest the footage. We'll go to Tools, Source Browser. In the source browser, we can either link to the original media files on our system or camera, or import them and have them converted to Avid native media. We'll take a look at both. Now, a quick way to get started with a project is to link to your footage. I placed the practice materials on an external media drive, so I'm locating the Scramble King footage there. Then we'll select the media files we want to link to. For Scramble King, we can select these folders. Then we'll want to select the target bin. For Scramble King, we can select Create Bin Based on Folder. That way, Media Composer will automatically create bins based on these folder names. Then we can click Link. Media Composer automatically creates bins based on the folder names, then creates clips that links to the media files and places them into each respective bin. 
Let's look at how import works. First, we'll select the import button. Then we can select the media files we want to import. If you're importing video files, you want to make sure you select an option from the resolution menu. For Scramble King, we're going to import a music file. So we'll leave Create Bin based on folder selected and then click Import. Since this WAV file contains a start time, we'll just want to make sure it matches our project format. So for Scramble King, we can select 2398 and click OK. So Media Composer automatically creates the music bin, generates the media, and adds a clip to the bin. Now, what if you want to create a bin, then link to or import media to it? For example, a bin for graphics and titles. Let's bring in a graphic now, and then we'll create titles in a later video. To create a new bin, we can right-click in the bin container sidebar and choose New Bin, and then give it a meaningful name. To link to our graphic, we'll head back to the source browser. Then make sure we select link and then locate our graphic. And then we can set our target bin. And click link. Again, Media Composer links to the original media file and creates a clip in the titles and graphics bin. Now that we've looked at several ways to set up your own project or the Scramble King project, let's review some footage and look at where we're headed with this Fast Art series. Now, notice this bin called Scramble King bin. This was actually created with this project and we can actually use this. So let's click the text so we can rename it and type a name. Now we have a bin for the sequences we'll build in future videos. Now we're ready to preview our footage. We can do this multiple ways, but notice it's difficult to see which bin is which. So let's select all the bins in the bin container sidebar by pressing Control A on Windows or Command A on the Mac. Then right click one of these and choose Close Selected Bins. Now we could double click a bin in the bin container sidebar. Then double click a clips icon to load it in the Media Composer source monitor. Then either click and drag the green position indicator to scrub through the footage or press the play button to play it. And then press it again to stop. To play another clip, just go back to the bin and double click another clips icon. Then you can scrub the next clip. Or press the play button to play it. And press it again to stop. Now, if you spot a part of the clip that you may want to use in your story, you can flag this by clicking this red Add Marker button. Then if you want, type a note. Now we can easily spot what we flagged when we work with this clip later. Now, if you're working with the Scramble King project, you'll quickly notice some of these bins have lots of shots. To help give this footage context as you preview it, Let's take a look at what I'll create by the end of this series. If you go to the Fast Start Final Edit folder on your system, you can open this file and preview the cut. My name is Emilio Hernandez. I train out of Tennessee Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu Academy based out of Spring Hill, Tennessee. By the way, this is a variation of an athlete profile created by filmmaker Kidron Cannon. My head instructor is... 
With that, we've reached the end of part one. In the next video, we'll explore how to cut together our story. Thanks so much for joining this session and I'll see you in part two.